welcome guys to a new video this is going to be a very interesting video because we are going to spend a whole day with my siblings and we are going to speak only in english are you ready for it andresito yes lucidi and andresito are going to speak in english too so we have many things to do right now but we are spending the time in the car making the introduction to the video we were talking with Luisini about how your voice in English sounds for example I feel that my voice uh, sounds I don't know how to say grave grave yeah no deeper mm -hmm. uh -huh. I feel that my voice in English sounds como muy grave I don't know how to say that in English but I think it's deeper or I don't know if you can notice the difference but Lucini says that her voice is do you think your voice changes in English yeah what's the difference I feel like I sound more like excited talking in English than in Spanish no, but I, I that's feel... how I pursue myself right I don't know how, how others listen I feel that in English you need to talk like <laughs> kind of fresa, un poquito fresa. I don't know. You need to you need to express more your I don't know. You need to express and, and, and make other people feel your emotions. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. But Andresito, you do like have picky. Uh -huh, like a picky boy. Andresito, you do you have something to say? But he's nervous, guys. He's kind of nervous, but let's start with the video. Go ahead. Y bueno, les cuento que right now we are at Santa Rosa Mall. Well, I feel that. Do you consider Santa Rosa is a mall? Like, I think that a mall is a bigger area. Es que bueno, se llama Centro Comercial Santa Rosa, ¿no? así que es Santa Rosa Mall. I guess we have many places to eat. Though. We are in this pan scale. Are you ready, Andresito, to measure your weight? No, man. No, man. <laughs> you need to stand here. And then you introduce a quarter. And the machine will tell you what's your weight. So if you remember the last time I weighed 186 pounds. So let's see if I lost some. Many of you are, are thinking, Tío Fran, you are not following the diet, you are eating kebabs and tacos and cantaritos with water. But I've been following the diet. I lost almost 10, I guess 10 pounds. <laughs> you see guys? 10 pounds less. Did you realize guys? You can see in the next picture, 10 or 11 days ago, I came at the same weight machine and I weighed 186. And right now I, I'm waiting at 178. So it's almost nine pounds less of my fatty body. But continue with the video. Why did I do that? To show you that you can reduce your weight doing a diet. So it's time to branch. Brunch is a combination of a, a, a breakfast and a lunch brunch because I have eaten breakfast and I have eaten. Yeah, because it was supposed to. Uh -huh. It was? Yeah, because it was going to be a, 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 a breakfast. Let's go to Pollo Cafe. Right now we are in the Dollar City looking for a mask because if you want to get in the Pollo Campero, you need a mask. What do you think about that, Andresito? Mm -hmm. Do you get, do you think that if you don't have a mask, you can get? You're gonna enfermar. You're gonna get ill. But Andresito, what do you think? Do you think? Do you want? Do you? Do you want? Como dice a mí? Do you want me to shave my beard? I I I don't understand you. Huh? I don't understand. Do you, what about you, Lucini? What do you think about my beard? I don't like it. You, your pájaro. 
bird. Uh, there is a different song. It's so long. Es que no lo así como lo decís vos. Andresito, you, what do you think about my beard? It's really long and es, spicy. <laughs> Se la tenés que decir así como de la escucha, la lee. My beard. <laughs> Your beard is so long. It's long. Exactly. Guys, did you know that Luisini is about to finish her English bachelor degree? So, teacher. No. Can you tell no. me what's the difference between... I don't like, I don't like, I don't like phonetics. In English, there are many tricky words. For example, you can think that pájaro, it has the same pronunciation of oso and or the same pronunciation of cerveza. But there is a, a little bit difference in those words. So I will explain you the difference between those words. Yeah. I, I, I made my voice sounds like a catedratico of university. <laughs> of but you're teaching phonetics. Like, exactly. Almost all phonetic English teachers have that kind of voice. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, we have the word... <laughs> what was that, bro? Uh, it's a... sapo. Okay, it was a sapo. How do you say sapo? Frog. No, frog is como rana. Something like that. But the difference between those four oh. words is that pájaro, the pronunciation of pájaro is, is like a combination of an nai and a ni. It's bird. So the bird is flying or angry bird mm -hmm. or, or Andrecito likes eating birds. Algo así, something like that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but then we have the word also do you remember that when you were a kid you used to watch el oso bear at canal 10 no so also se dice bear exactly el oso bear bear and then we have cerveza cerveza is beer and then we have barba that has the same pronunciation of cerveza but with a D at the end. Beard. Beard. Right? Those are called false friends. And what's the meaning of that? False friends is when you have a word that sounds the same. And why don't you explain that, teacher? The is, teacher, why don't you explain? I'm not a teacher guy. She's a translator. I'm a translator, exactly. So in the same part of the video, we are going to start Speaking, We're going to start this lady. <laughs> speaking, speaking British English. So with this weather, it's very hot. We need a cup of water. A bit. Ahorita, right now we are headed to go green because we, we need to, we must continue with the diet. And Andresito right now is going to eat a good one. No pizza, no hamburger. No are we up? It's really hot here. No hot dogs. Not poor dogs. But got green. Así que, démosle. When I'm not at home, <laughs> when I'm not at <laughs> when I'm not at home, I do that go green because I think it's the healthiest. Well, there is the day combo. The combo del día. How do you say jueves? Wednesday. Thursday. Yo jamás me aprendí los days of the week. <laughs> so we have a night go baja. So Andresito, have you tried I go green before? Uh, I don't know what you say. But have Andresito se estaba dando duro con una ladybug. What happened with the ladybug? Uh, he's here and it's yellow. Yeah. Or, or white. Exactly bro, it's yellow. We have a, a question guys. How do you say buen provecho? Okay, bueno, here we have the combo, there's a, a lemonade and here we have the go green. The combo was the coast maybe 435 and we were discussing what's the correct pronunciation of buen provecho. Lucini said bon appetit but I thought it was in French. No, but, 
but reading carefully on the internet is is bon appetit. So if you know another phrase to express bon appetit, to express bon provecho, write in the comments below. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Great. Atrasado. Enjoy your meal. If you want to say another form, other way, that's... Bon Guys, if you have ever come to La Esquina Mall... Do you think he's taking a picture or doing a... I don't know. But if you have ever come to... Maybe he's doing a live. Maybe you have. Well, if you had come to La Esquina Mall, I guess there is something wrong here, cause, well, in almost every mall of El Salvador, you need a ticket like this to validate at the moment you get out of the mall. But in this part of the mall, there's any validation machine. I guess that is the correct name. How do you say Maquina de Validación, but validation machine? Do you say machine? Yes. Well, in this part of the mall, are you the, sure there's none? There is any any validation machine, so you need to walk like five minutes until you find one and validate your ticket to get out of the mall. But the thing is that I think it should be one like in this part, because otherwise you will have to, to walk five minutes. So I guess it's too far. That's the point. I don't know guys. There is something that happens in well, I think but in almost every Salvadoran house that why are you laughing? I'm not. I feel that in almost every Salvadoran house people have a printer, but it doesn't work. So when you have something to print, it doesn't matter if the printer doesn't work. I know most of you have a printer that's been in your house for five years, but you don't throw it away. So well, in my case, we have a printer, but it doesn't work. I don't know why it does. It works, but when it wants. So it's, it's I hate that print. So <laughs> The funniest part is my mom and I always uh, talk about throw it, throw that printer away, but I don't know, magic happened and it works. But then when you really, really, really need it, it doesn't work. So it's something strange. Yeah. <laughs> Stranger things. But in my case, every time I want to print something, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. I have to go to the library to print my What my is stuff. this? Shake him. It the was bleeding you know? I don't know, my car. It doesn't work very well. Man, I don't want to go with and you. When, and when I will have to go to Plaza Mundo. But don't worry. Don't worry. Y nos quedamos, bo. See you in a minute, guys, because we have to, we have to search. Learning. We have to buy a scale. It's a gram scale. Uh huh. Because there are some scales that measure pants. For example, the the scale that that, that measure what what was my weight is a pound scale. But there's another kind of a scale, which is the one that helps you to measure, for example, what's the way portion. Well, what's the weight of an apple? What's the weight of a hundred grams of rice? That's an example. So we are looking for that gram scale that I guess I can find it at office people, no, I don't know. Probably La Pura Sao, Sao, in Sima. At Sima. So let's find that gram scale. Maybe you are wondering, your friend, what do you want a gram scale? The thing is my diet. It's getting serious. I need to make sure what. It's very strict. It's not a strict, but no, no, it's not a strict. The thing is that I need to make sure what I eat in order to improve. I think it's very useful. Maybe, maybe 
if you want to eat, let's say healthy or not healthy, no, not, not healthy, but but if you want to eat exactly a certain portion of a specific food, for example, if the nutritionist tells you, Tio Frank, you need to eat uh, 50 grams of strawberries. So you put the strawberries in the gram scale and you measure 50 grams of strawberries. That sounds kind of crazy, but yeah. it's very useful. You'll see later, guys. I don't know, guys. Don't listen to him. Do you know, guys, what's the solution for this problem? The thing is that I don't know if you can see clearly the thermometer of my car. Well, this thing here measured the temperature of the Raya McQueen. The problem is that when I stop moving in the car, the temperature of, of, the, of the car goes up, right? And I don't know why, when I continue moving, it goes down. It's kind of weird. If any of you knows the solution for this problem, can you tell me in the comments, please? We don't believe in mechanics anymore. See, because they demand me. I know what you do. They scam you. They scam you. That's Yeah, it's the fact. They demand me thousand dollars, thousand bucks. So right now when the temperature it goes up, I don't know why the AC doesn't work well. So right now- We are I'm, rusting. We are rusting in this cafetera. What do you say, cafetera? I don't know, but that's the, that's the nickname I put to the way Finally, we found... Kitchen scale. Oh. Kitchen scale. Kitchen scale. This is very useful, guys, to measure your Food. your chicken breast. Bicho, yo no sabía cómo se decía pechuga de pollo hasta que Luisini me dijo, la casi traductora. Y no me creía. Chicken breast. ¿Sabes qué? Tengo que buscar en Google. Para what would you like to measure in this grain scale? Nada. Andresito, ¿qué yes. te gustaría medir aquí? It's one quarter. Uh, I imagine four strawberries, maybe 25 pounds. No, too much. No. Too much. 25 grams. <laughs> you will see, guys, that with that purchase, my diet will improve a lot. Are you very negative to lose fat? Very fast. Yes, I eat. Will you measure your apples here? What to use this? To measure the grams of the fruit or your vegetables. Okay. Are you ready? We buy gum. Unos unos gomitas dulces. Te cuento que viendo World Games estamos with Andrecito, and my childhood has been remembered. I don't know who told me that those games were too expensive. I don't know guys if you remember that when you were kids you used to play those kinds of games in that kinds of maquinitas. But I remember that for each dollar you paid they gave you four tokens. Four tokens right now for it. one dollar they give you one token. So but the time is getting expensive and expensive. If you were wondering well, what was the price of the maquinitas is one dollar for one time. I remember there was a game that the game was to catch bees. You just have to catch it with a, with a... To catch bees and put it in the, in the, the panel? Yeah. That was my favorite game. I remember I played that. Mira, I remember that many of those games that are in this place are from Plaza Mario. But you see? <laughs> Guys, look! That one, that one, that one was the one I was talking about. Guys, you want to go? Look at Lucina, she's very excellent. Damn, man, you put four in five seconds. What do you think about this game, Andresito? It's so fun. Look at Lucini. Used to be he used to be her favorite game. Yeah. 
think he's very expert putting this in the panel, in the honey pot. So remember our childhood, guys, at Plaza Mundo. But I remember, I remember that when you were a, a kid, you didn't put too much, such as today. Because I get, I get better. It's in the it's a floor below, but I remember it was in this one. Maybe at the park. No, I, mean. I don't know if that happened to you guys. That you lose the car when you are in a new mall. Guys, to finish our day, we have to come to El Pollo Campero. And Lucini wants me to break my diet, but I won't. Lucini, what do you order? A hamburger the hamburger there are thousands of calories in this dish and well guys that was all for today's video i hope you have enjoyed this challenge speaking hour speaking english for 24 hours we're not 24 hours at all but it were the half right. of the day something else everything for the bitches thank you so much for watching guys we really appreciate it. We know that our English is not the best, but it was it was a challenge for us. And Andresito, what do you think? Tomen Exactly. Tomen Cita. So goodbye guys. Nos vemos en la próxima. And if you want more Lucini's classes, you can you, you can write her. I love to, my phone. No her guys, I'm to not to her Instagram account. Chemicals, but the CHW. You can follow her on her Instagram for more English classes. Or Teacher David. Or Teacher David. Well, Teacher Lucy. Goodbye, guys. I'm good.